late 1950s, the engineer of Lockheed Martin had the idea, all right guys, let's build a new plane that's kind of a missile and we're gonna put like a cockpit to it. I'll make like a, 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 a missile where a man has to sit in it and control it. And everybody, so they came up with this airplane, the Starfighter, the F-104. The airplane that was dubbed by the Germans as the Widowmaker. Yes, what does a plane fly like when it has not only very small, like very generally small wing, small wing span, but also very thin thin wings. Check this out. This, everybody, is one of those planes where you don't want to have an engine failure because this is not a good glider. Let's maybe see if we can fly it anyway here at a St. Bartholomew. I don't even know why I always operate out of this place. It makes no sense for this kind of airplane. All right, there we go. We've got enough space to go. Let's go full power into the surf. Yes. And the howling noise that this plane was very famous for. We could just hear that. That was beautiful. It's time to go full power in our flying missile. This is a light 1950s cockpit. Uh, it's just kind of what you get. Yeah, let's take off here. Uh, let's put the flaps out. No, just kidding. Of course, this plane... Oh, it does have flaps. It does actually have flaps. That's quite ridiculous. That's quite a high flap angle. That's not even bad. And of course, this plane won't be able to take off out of this airport. It doesn't have wings. It's not even allowed to technically fly. That has definitely not worked. Yes, everybody. The developers of Koli Mata, the guys who also did the beautiful Concorde model for X-Plane Flight Simulator, recently came up with their X-Plane rendition of the F-104 Starfighter in D. Which I very much appreciate because the F-104 surely is interesting. Why did the Germans call it the Widowmaker? A flawed plane that was still so perfect. That is so interesting. Let's go uh, put the flaps. What is that? Uh, is that supposed to happen? This flap to come out? I, I have no idea. All right, we've got slats. Just to, let's take off once again. Let's go full power. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going faster. There we go. We're able to finally take off. Yes, we need an incredibly long runway for this airplane to fly. Like, genuinely, this is like airliner level long runway, which is not that important anyway. This is not a plane that was made for daily flying, we need an incredible high amount of speed to actually be able to start flying. I mean, we are already at 250 knots and we're kind of barely flying like that. Yes, due to these short wings that this plane had, it sure was interesting to fly. But there we go. Now, one of the perks of having pretty much no wings is that you can practically climb out of nowhere into your cruising altitude at speeds of over Mach 2, which is for the late 1950s very quick obviously beautiful stuff we're looking incredibly good once again those wings are not dragging us down at all and just like that our incredibly quickly flying arrow has moved up into the air but something i really once again don't want to have a situation i really don't want to encounter i think this would be quite a bit rare oh no birds and we've lost our engine we're now glider a really bad glider, I would have to say. All right, let's put the flat rammer turbine out. It's quite a funny idea that this airplane has a rammer turbine. I mean, it's only got one engine, but you know, it's very, very present in the cockpit as well, this rammer turbine. And we are already starting to notice that you really don't want to fly this plane without engines. Like, there's no maneuverability. Come on. Come on. I mean, the T-tail that kind of acts as a control surface as well kind of tries to do its best, but it's we're literally lost. I'm literally trying to pull up. This is a very hard plane to stabilize. Come on. Jesus. Right, honestly, give me a chance to control you, airplane, please. We've got a runway down here. We might be able to make it. All right. Yes, we are able to make it. Check this out. We've got a small runway sunbonnet. I mean, if you manage to somewhat learn the language of how this airplane flies, you might be able to get into it. But damn, this plane is quite hard. And this fight, like, it's hard. It's like the worst thing I've ever tried to control. Come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Please don't stall out. We've got a runway right there. Don't give up now. Oh, my God. We're at 200 knots and we're stalling out. We have landed in front of the runway. 
This in real life might have been successful. We can still put out the drag shoot. There we go. We're looking incredibly good. This is a custom drag shoot as well. Beautiful texturing here. You know, Koli Mata truly did an amazing job of making this airplane. Check this out. We've even got the flap of which, you know, extends the tube. Truly an amazing add-on. We've got three different versions of the Starfighter here. Added the C, G, and the S. I think that C, for example, is a modern version of it. There we go. This looks quite nice. I mean, this plane, you know, hasn't been flying around for a long time. I mean, it was mostly retired by the 1960s and 70s, but Italy was flying it until 2004. And both the Air Forces quickly got rid of it because of its design, because they kept losing men. Nicknames category on Wikipedia states, Germans call it Widowmaker, this airplane. Flying Coffin. Generally, this plane was kind of filled with problems because of these wings being so small. Small, they couldn't really fit that landing gear. The landing gear is kind of fidgety put into the fuselage, but also it couldn't hold a lot of fuel. I mean, fuel is stored in the wings of an aircraft. We all know that. And if you make wings this tiny, it just doesn't work out. The straight plane lacked a radar that was good, but also this wing design is just in general super impractical. For example, you have to again land at a 500,000 knots, similar to the Concorde. I mean, here we are doing the most normal F-104 Starfighter approach where we try to not crash the landing gear kind of weirdly comes out of the fuselage like that and we're trying to make it what is this this plane is turned to a dolphin now i just don't get it oh my oh please every landing in this airplane must have been a survival mission oh my jeez that truly lacked. I'm so very sorry. I mean, even legendary test pilot Chuck Yeager was able to crash one F-104 here. This uh, was a situation where he brought the airplane into a spiral and a proper spin, downward spin, and he wasn't able to recover out of a stall because this airplane sucked. He didn't give any power, but he did um, actually pull the parachute, which actually didn't help at all. The plane still managed to... Um, Lose more and more altitude. Check this out. No recovery possible at all. This is an incredibly unflyable airplane. He then ejected out of his seat, which is why he survived. But goddammit, this airplane was obviously lost and it never regained flight. Maybe Chuck Yeager could have saved the airplane by pushing power, by giving it a little thrust or something. I mean, maybe it's trying to recreate it. Maybe go into the other version we have, the G variant, right? There we go. We can be as high as we want to be. Service ceiling of the F-104 was 70,000 feet. There we go. Something like that. And I promise you, we won't be able to regain flight. We're now dropping down because we've got no knots. We've got no speed. If we try to pull up and say, oh, I want to save the airplane. We're practically now in a spin, which we can't, you know, recover from. This airplane is... No aerodynamic capabilities whatsoever. We're truly just going to crash, right? And if we even if we were to give full power, right, it's not going to help much. All right, we're generally dropping to, to to death. This would have been very very scary, truly. All right, passengers, we're now on final approach to uh, to Palma de Mallorca Airport. It's down there. You can see it. Maybe maybe we're able to gain some control. Maybe if you go full power, there we go. It's feeling like that. We might be able to recover. Give a little thrust. Give it a little something. Yeah, a little thrust. Yes. Chuck, this is what you should have done. Perhaps I could have genuinely saved this airplane. There we go. We've actually been able to recover it. And now that we've... Oh, well, that hasn't worked, truly. I mean, overall, though, I don't want to hate on the Starfighter at all. I mean, it's a great airplane still. That might be able to fire some weapons. Maybe here we have uh, some things to select. Arm. Uh, right. What is this? Missiles. Okay. I guess that'll do something. Cool stuff. They really made their add-on quite nice here, Kolimata. Oh, this is cool. We've got a proper minigun style. Yes, we are truly fighting the stars indeed. All right, everybody. We did Palma de Mallorca Airport. You are done. Yeah, did you see that effect? That was uh, really cool. Now, of course, since this was practically a bomber as well, we can practically get rid of half the wing surface here. And this is what we have to press in order to get rid of the bombs, genuinely. All right, friends of Palma de Mir, there's actually an aircraft carrier that could be bombable, but that's just fine. Come on, let's drop the bombs right now. There it is, this is how we do it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And they're going down very quickly. They're going to explode. They're going to explode a lot, please. Well, those are some very, very peaceful weapons. 
And I right now, this plan looks even more ridiculous because this jack generally has no wing anymore. But this is the Starfighter, an absolutely beautiful plane. A plane whose pilots are most respected, at least the ones who are still alive, which is not a very, very common theme generally. Everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Oh, we've now run out of fuel. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Deram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Fan Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.